Hi, Oddings. Welcome to Stories with Sapphire. I'm your Ate Sapphire. Did you know that we've only explored about 5% of our planet's oceans? In today's story, we travel to the Indian Ocean, where Sharanya and Priyasha are about to find out what's lurking in the other 95%. And now, it's story time. For Priyasha's last day before moving out of the country, she wanted to go scuba diving with her best friend, Sharanya. Priyasha was very experienced, but Sharanya was pretty terrified. Rightfully so, since she hadn't finished her training yet. Priyasha assured her that she would be by her side the entire time. She even knew of a spot that would let her dive without her completed certification, because she knew the owner. As Sharanya suited up, she couldn't help but notice how janky their underwater radio and equipment looked. But she didn't want to offend Priyasha or the owner. Then, Sharanya kept overhearing this strange word from the other divers, and her nerves continued to heighten. Hey, what's a bok? Is that something I need? Relax, you're safe with me. Everything is going to be fine. <sighs> I'm really gonna miss you, Pri. Seriously, no one could ever replace you. They boarded the boat and headed out into the water. The boat came to a slow stop. The divers climbed over the side and submerged themselves into the ocean. Every worry Sharanya had floated away as she soaked in the beautiful sights of coral and fish. Priyasha signed, told you so. They heard the faded crackle of the boat driver's voice from the radio, which meant it was almost time to return to the boat. That's when a strong current suddenly shoved Sharanya and Priyasha several feet. Maybe more, it's impossible to tell underwater. Priyasha signed to Sharanya to relax and go with the current until it calmed. But the current didn't calm. In fact, it only got stronger as the young women were tossed even further away from the boat the voice on the radio getting fainter and fainter. When the water finally settled, they found themselves encased in darkness, their headlamps the only source of light. Priyasha checked her compass. The needle was spinning out of control. That never happened before. She checked their oxygen. They only had about five minutes left of air. They hadn't been in the water that long. How was that possible? Sharanya began to panic. And then realizing she was using up even more air made her panic even more. Priyasha put her hand on her shoulder, motioning for her to steady her breathing slowly in and out. As Sharanya finally relaxed, the two friends embraced. And as they pulled apart, Sharanya's headlamp began to flicker as did Priyasha's. As the light came in and out, Sharanya spotted something swimming towards them. They began to wave frantically, thinking it was another diver who could help them find their way back. As the figure got closer, they realized that's not what it was. There was no sign of Priyasha anywhere. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Sharanya pressed the signal button to let them know she was within range. Swim up. Sharanya fought her fatigued arms and legs and pushed harder than she'd ever pushed in her life until she could see the bottom of the boat. The other divers helped pull her aboard. Priyasha! She's still down there! I think something took her! Hey, 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 it's okay. She's all right. She's right here. Oh my god, what the hell happened? How'd you get up here before me? What was that thing? Relax. You're safe with me. Everything is going to be fine. All right, we've got everyone. Let's go. The boat driver started the engine and they all made their way back to shore. Sharanya was bewildered upon seeing just how far out they had been thrown. 
Glad that the worst of it was over, she sat next to Priyasha and rested her head on her shoulder. The boat slowed down. Sharanya looked up to see what was going on. Something had floated into their path. As they got closer, Sharanya's heart sank right back into the ocean. There was Priyasha's lifeless body floating towards them. Sharanya turned to what she had thought was her friend. It's a bok! A bok is a demon in Indian folklore that is believed to lurk near bodies of water. After it lures you into the water and takes your life, it will then take on your appearance so that it can travel onto land and continue to kill. So pay close attention to your family or friends who have come back from a trip near water. They may not be who they say they are. Today's story featured Sharanya, who won the cameo contest on my Instagram. Follow me at Awkward Sapphire to see how you can win the next one. If you don't want nightmares tonight, like and share this story and subscribe to my channel. Submit your own stories to storieswithsapphire at gmail.com. For more spooky, supernatural, and spiritual stories, listen to the Stories with Sapphire podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like what you saw and would like to support this independently run show, head over to patreon.com slash stories with Sapphire. Until we meet again, sleep tight.